Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to delete rows in Excel based on certain criteria using VVA macros. And as an example I have here a file with uh, data for drinks, uh, alcoholic drinks and beverages, organized by category or product. And we want to delete certain rows here based on a given criteria. And this is a very simple macro. I just got several questions about it and I thought I would make a video explaining exactly how to do it. But this is very simple. So for example, one of the criteria could be the volume is less than 700 milliliters. So we want to delete all the rows that are below 700 milliliters. For example, this one here and, and so on. And of course we can use filtering to filter out those um, rows using um, greater than or equal to 700, but that would only filter out the rows, it would not delete it. So we are using the macro to delete and clean up this data set. And yes, you can still use the filter and copy and paste that in other sheet, but uh, imagine you have a large data set, several data sets in several sheets or even workbooks, in that case, the macro would come very handy. And imagine also, instead of just one criteria, you have several criteria. You want to clean up your data set based on several um, parameters. So in that case, the macro comes very handy. It's just a few rows of code and it will do the job in less than a second. So to make it more interesting, we are also gonna use other criteria. For example, we could use the alcohol percent or or let's say better we use the price. So we're gonna have, have the volume less than 700 milliliters and let's say the price over a thousand. That's that, and, that, and that's not US dollar or, or, or Euro, that's another currency. Um, and we could of course also use a text. So, um, so have a criteria based on the product or, or the brand or, or for example, if, the, if certain text is in the description um, the country and so on. We could add as many fields to the criteria as we want. So let's move to the Visual Basic Editor now and insert a module and here we're gonna have the macro the lead rows on criteria and as I said it's a very simple macro it's just gonna be a few lines of code and we're gonna need a couple of variables so I'm gonna declare last row as a long it could be an integer, but in case we have a long data set, we use a long variable. And data row as a long as well. And then we also may want to declare uh, each variable to store the the value of the, of the field that is going to be taken as the criteria. So for example, in this case, we're going to have the product volume. So I will say prod vol and that's gonna be a number, so as an integer. And we're gonna have also the, the product price, and that's also an integer. It, it could be a currency, but in this case, it's, a, it's an integer. And now we just need to loop through all the rows in the data set. So we need to get the last row with data, and we're gonna use in the active sheet, the used range, and for that, we're going to use a special cells to get the Excel cell type last cell. And that's going to give us the last cell in this data set. And then we're going to have dot row. And that will be the row of the last cell, which is the last row with content. And there are several other ways to get the last row with content. You've probably seen uh, several other methods that I've used in other macros, but that's probably the most appropriate to use here. Now we can start a loop for data row equals last row to row two to skip the headers, and therefore we add step minus one, and now we can get the value of each of the fields that are going to be part of the criteria. So, for example, the prod volume. It's going to be the value in range, and that's going to be column D. 
D and data row dot value and the product price is the range F and data row dot value and now it comes the main conditional statement so if prod volume is below 700 milliliters or the product price is greater or equal to 1000 then and as you see we have a criteria based on two fields but we could add as many fields as needed using the logical operators or and in some cases it may be and um, and as I said before it can be numbers or it can be also text when that criteria is met then we're gonna have rows data row dot delete we're gonna delete and clean up the data set here we end the if statement and here we move to the next row so if we run the macro it's gonna delete all the rows that have met that criteria uh, as we see we don't have any rows now with the volume below 700 and we should not have any rows or any products with the price over a thousand so that's how we delete rows based on certain criteria in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.